Today Microsoft rolls out KB5039212 for Windows 1123H2 and version 22H2. This is part of June 2024 Patch Tuesday update for Windows 11, bring changes for the Share Interface and the new Account Manager menu for the Start menu. This update also includes various improvements for existing features and security fixes, can be downloaded from Settings, Windows Update, and by clicking Check for Updates. The update download may take some time depending on your internet speed and hardware configuration. Let Windows Update download and install on your device. Once done you need to restart your computer to apply changes. Installing the update Advanced Windows 11 Build 22631.3737, you can run Winver command to check the same. Well if you experience problem download and install the update, you can download the offline package from Microsoft Catalog and install it manually. First open a browser of your choice and navigate to Microsoft Update Catalog. Click the search bar found at the top right of the page and search KB5035349. Choose the package that matches your device's configuration. If you are running an Intel or AMD-based PC, you have to download the X64 package. If you have a Snapdragon-based ARM PC, then the ARM64 package is for you. Once the update package downloaded, double-click on it to apply on your device and restart the device to apply changes. Now talking, what's new on today's update? After install this update Windows 11 users can create QR codes to share webpags and files. Also it's now possible to send emails to yourself, a file or web page. What more, share will no longer close when clicking outside the interface. You will now have to click the close button manually to dismiss it. On File Explorer, you can now drag files between breadcrumbs in the address bar to move files between locations in the path. Starting with this update, you can sign into your Microsoft account in the Windows Backup app. This app saves backups to your account. You can read more details on Microsoft Official Support Site. Official Support Site also mentioned this update addresses a known issue that affects the taskbar not responding, or it might also disappear and reappear. It also it fixes lsas.exe crashes occurring after April 2024 security updates on Windows servers, resolves systems failing to resume from Hibernate with BitLocker enabled, and addresses lsas.exe memory leaks during LSARPC calls. Additionally, it tackles a known installation issue causing errors and rollback to previous updates, primarily affecting Windows virtual machines on ARM-based Mac devices using Parallels desktop. Well if you have not installed last month's preview update, today's update bring all changes and improvements. This update adds a feature that prevent accidentally closing the Windows Share window. That means clicking outside of the window will no longer close it. Next you can now use your mouse to drag files between breadcrumbs in the File Explorer address bar. A breadcrumb shows the path to your current file location in the address bar. This update also adds a page to Settings under Accounts section is called Linked Devices. On it, you can manage your PCs and Xbox consoles. This page only shows on Home and Pro editions when you sign into Windows using your Microsoft account. Microsoft also starts the rollout of the new Account Manager on the Start menu. When you use a Microsoft account to sign into Windows, you will get a glance at your account benefits. This feature also makes it easy to manage your account settings. Also you can now create quick response, QR, codes for web page URLs and cloud files from the Windows Share window. Select the Share button in the Microsoft Edge toolbar and choose Windows Share options. Then, you can share the URLs and files across your devices. It also enhances backup capabilities by allowing sound settings to be saved if Remember My Preferences is enabled and integrates Microsoft account sign-in within the Windows Backup app. Users can also now send emails to themselves from the Windows Share window and add a recovery email via a new button in Account Settings. Additionally, the update addresses issues with File Explorer's responsiveness, handwriting panels, touch keyboards, screen sharing, and video playback in Chromium-based browsers. It also improves the startup time of File Explorer, 
fixes Bluetooth LE audio headset connectivity options, resolves profile picture update errors, and ensures the share button on USB controllers works with GameBar. The update resolves issues such as exceptions returned by the Get Local Group member Kundlet after a server is removed from a domain, printer functionality in restricted environments, and the persistent display of deleted IPP over USB printers in the control panel. It also addresses problems with Twain drivers in virtual environments, updates COSA profiles for certain mobile operators, and fixes various other issues related to host networking service, smart card icons, enhanced fast reconnect, encrypted email apps, folder context menus, out-of-box experience completion, and unified write filter API calls.